Hey everybody, it's Mr. Regner, and I am here once again with a spiral review review. Yeah, we're reviewing for the review. Uh, we're looking at this time, week number six, day number one, and I'm going to review this with you now. Keep in mind, there are six questions on our review this week, and all of our questions are the same throughout the week with maybe some different numbers mixed in there, but ultimately the same type of math. If we can do well on day one, we hopefully can keep improving day two, day three, day four, and do a very good job on our graded assignment on day five. Let's go ahead and take a look at number one. Here it is. It says use an area model to help you find the sum. So we're adding together these two fractions. The models are given. Maybe that's going to help you out. We can add them without the models if we really want to. Remember, find your common denominator, add them together, get your answer. Select the correct answer and you're good. Let's move on. Question number two. It says, what is the missing number in the equation? All right, so look at it. We've got 37 hundredths multiplied by something equals three and seven tenths. Notice those digits for a second. 37 hundredths, three and seven tenths. Hmm, it appears. I'm just glancing at it, but it appears that that decimal has just moved over to the right one time. Hmm, if I remember correctly, there is something that I can multiply times anything to make the decimal move to the right once. This is where you can find out what that is. Let's move on. Question number three. It says, what is the value of the expression? And we have six tenths plus 83 hundredths. So we're going to solve to find the value of that expression. In other words, add them together. Remember, when you're adding together numbers that have decimals, it's very important to line them up, 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 line them up, 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 line them up, 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 then add. Line up your decimals. Let's move on. Question number four. What is the value of the, of the five in the following numbers? Now, they give you two different numbers here. You're looking for five and then finding the place value. Okay, is it going to be the ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place, the thousands place, the ten thousands place, the hundred thousands place? You get the idea. Identify the place value. Look at question number five with me. Ah, we've got a little picture here with some cubes. It says, how many cubes were used to build the following solid figure? Now, in order to answer this question, we kind of have to like think three-dimensionally on a two-dimensional picture. So think to yourself, how many cubes are there? We're to count them up. And we are assuming that we can see the cubes that are unseen, if you know what I mean. For example, in the back corner, there's probably a cube supporting all the other cubes that are on top of it. We have to assume that's there so we can include that in our count. Moving on, question number six. It says a student desk costs $43.18. How much would 10 student desks cost? Ah, we just need to multiply, right? So take your price and multiply it times 10. Now the other option is we could add that number 10 different times, but it's way easier to multiply. Hey, that's our review for week number six. Again, day number one is gonna have very similar questions to day numbers two, three, four, and our graded assignment on day five. Keep practicing all week long if you have questions, Feel free to reach out to me, and good luck! Math! Aftermath, it's the aftermath. Aftermath, it's the aftermath. Math class is fun, but when it's done, stay in the zone. On your own, it's math review. Made just for you. Take a video wherever you go. Aftermath, it's the aftermath. Aftermath, it's the aftermath. Oh, yeah.